That's it. Good. One last company to talk about in this space, and this one is going to surprise you because it won't be at the front of your mind with regard to cell phone manufacturers. And that is a company called Honhai Precision. You will perhaps know it as Foxconn Technology Group. Fascinating company. It's Taiwanese. It's an electronics contract manufacturer. It is the company which has the principal contracts to manufacture the iPad, the iPhones, but they also manufacture the Kindle phones for Amazon, the PlayStation 4s for Sony, and the Xbox One for Microsoft. Market capitalization listed on the market in Taiwan, but again, converted to dollars if you take the new Taiwanese dollars, comes to just below $50 billion, 47.9. Price earnings ratio 10.17, dividend yield of 1%. Fascinating story. There's a guy whose name is Terry Guo. G-U-O, that's the chap's name. Terry is not his first name, that's the kind of anglicized version. He is a Taiwanese guy living on the island of Taiwan. Remember the history where Taiwan is populated by people basically fleeing China. It's established in a garage in the Taiwan market as recently as 1975. He starts to pick up contracts from around the world to manufacture these devices and starts building factories around the world, but principally on mainland China. It has 1.2 million employees. They manufacture these devices on extremely tight production deadlines, including incredible numbers. When they say they made 50, bil 50 million of these things and sold them in a quarter, you can only imagine the production technology required to produce these things. There are fabulous stories from the old days of Apple where Steve Jobs would be deciding at the last minute what the shape and form of the iPhone 3 was going to look like and the Foxconn managers wake up the entire workforce. They sit side by side. They work a 36-hour shift on one cup of tea and a biscuit in order to get the iPhone 3 to market on time because Steve Jobs said it had to be available in the stores on Thursday. Incredible company, incredibly substantial producer, tight margins. That's something worth knowing. Something that's worth knowing, they are a company with a great future probably, but tight margins. And you can see that production curve. They have always been a company that has chased market share and contracts to manufacture these things, but they get squeezed with regard to their margins. So an interesting one, I think, to look at. Possibly we'll return to it in the future. Again, you would have to have the ability to buy stocks in Taiwan, which is somewhat of an unusual place to go looking for investment opportunities.